Ryanair's Michael O'Leary. He has more than 400 Max jets on order. There's high travel demand and he can't get the aircraft that he needs because of constrained supply. He sees fares going up in Europe by 5 to 10 percent as everybody ratchets up fares on supply and demand. As for Boeing's delays, well, he basically is flagged to Boeing these issues. Instead, whilst on safety, he trusts their planes and he says they will get it right. He's making no bones about it. Michael O'Leary of Ryanair is not happy. I have confidence in the planes. Uh, I'm not confident they'll all be delivered. We're supposed to get 57 for summer of 2024. I think the number now looks like it's somewhere between 35 and 40. We're in daily dialogue with Dave Calhoun, Brian West, the CFO. I have confidence in those guys. I think they're getting their arms around it. I think the situation in Boeing is improving, but there is no doubt this summer we're facing delivery delays, which will constrain Ryanair's growth this year instead of carrying 205 million passengers. I think we're heading for somewhere between 198, 200 million. Right. Uh, you also said that there'll be an increase in fares as a result. Why? Well, 20% of the Airbus fleet this summer is going to be grounded. Boeing are, uh, are suffering delivery delays. So Europe will not return to its 2019 pre-COVID capacity. And if, you know, whereas demand has returned, demand is strong. So if you have constrained supply, strong demand, I think it's inevitable that you're going to see airfares bump up again this summer, I think between 5 and 10%. And you were telling us earlier about sometimes when you do get a new plane, what you find at the... Yeah, I mean, we now have, a, we, we have about 24 engineers in Seattle monitoring the production. But when we take delivery of an aircraft into Dublin, we spend 48 hours going through the plane, checking it for errors, omissions, or anything else. And we, we you know, last year in 2022 and 2020, we were finding little things like spanners under floorboards, uh, in some cases, seat handles missing, things like that. That shows, I think, a lack of attention to detail, quality issues in Boeing. Uh, no, nothing big, nothing major. Um, but, you know, that's part of our surveillance of the Boeing system, and we're not willing to put an aircraft into service in Ryanair unless we've fully, well, we're fully satisfied that everything is there and as it should be. And you've made your views clear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to, you know, to Boeing at the most senior levels, we've been saying for 18 months, both publicly and privately to Boeing, that quality control post-COVID since they got back making aircraft has not been acceptable and it needs to be improved. Boeing now accepted that's the case. The FAA now accepted that's the case. And I think that's good overall for customers and for consumers, even if it means some aircraft delivery delays this year. So you're getting fewer planes, there'll be higher fares and there'll be also the usual dis ATC disruption over the summer. It's not a very cheerful look. I'm, not, I, I'm more optimistic. I mean, one, I think there'll be less ATC disruption this summer. The French had 57 days of ATC strikes last summer. I don't think they will be as bad this summer. The Olympics in Paris will distract them for a couple of months during the summer. We then have the Euros in Germany uh, in the autumn. The capacity constraints mean there'll be less pressure on European ATC, and we will be flying even with the growth we do get, we'll be added, flying 35, 40 new Boeing aircraft that carry 4% more passengers but burn 16% less fuel. You're taking over as head, as, as chair of uh, AA4E. It's sometimes quite depressing coming here because it's the same issues. And arguably on some of them, no progress, have even gone in reverse. I think there's an element of truth to that, but you know, we meet every year. This year, you know, as a group of airlines, we're carrying probably six, eight percent more passengers than we did this time last year. So we're complaining about things that haven't been addressed. ATC reform hasn't been addressed. Protection of overflights hasn't been addressed. We still have this ludicrous environmental taxation in Europe that only applies to European short haul flights. We exempt long haul flights and we exempt transfer flights, which are account for the vast majority of Europe aviation CO2 emissions. I mean, I think it's absurd. You have airlines calling for a level playing field that don't even pay the environmental taxes on their long haul and transfer flights. Um, so there are issues that need to be fixed. I think we have a new European Parliament, new commission getting elected later on this year. But while we're making those points, we're still delivering growth.